How's it going everyone and welcome back to episode number 34 of the Ultimate Iron Man series. Now there's a ton of really cool things planned for this episode so I'm going to continue and do a bunch of more PVMing. Now I'm planning to do some God Wars Dungeon bosses, I'm most likely going to do some more Slayer bosses, as well as I'm planning on doing some Achievement Diaries. Now I did have a pretty old goal that I kind of started working on and that goal was to give myself the Achievement Diary Cape. So far I managed to complete the entire Martinia Diary and I believe I completed a ton of Medium and some Hards and a bunch of other diaries as well and the only diary that I still haven't started working on is going to be the wilderness diary which I'm going to probably work on last so that is pretty much going to be everything that I'm going to be doing in this episode all right this is going to be the last scale of this task let's see if I manage to get anything nice oh lava battle staff not too great but I could out this so let's grab a new task and hopefully it's going to be a boss task oh necrols that's actually a really good task back then they weren't really a good task because they didn't really have anything good to drop aside from seeds but now that they have been updated that's actually an amazing task to do because you can make a ton of money from it but i'm not going to be working on this task for now i'm going to start doing some more bendos kill number seven coming up let's see what we get grimace snap dragons that's actually pretty good i can make myself some more super restore potions for the next kill i managed to give myself a rune to h not too great but i could out this for some nice gp 50 magic logs, nice, I can use this to give myself some fire making XP. There's 10 bando skills and I'm going to be taking a break from bandos for now until the point that I give myself the Triken Warhammer. Now I decided to do a bit of bandos before I even get it simple because just to test it out and see how it is and I definitely will need to give myself a Dragon Warhammer to be able to do bandos much more efficiently. So I'm going to start working on getting myself the Shazen Favor to be able to kill the Lizard Shamans. I believe I need about 100% or something like that to be able to do it. And I don't think that the Shazen favorite takes too long to get, so let's start working on it. Alright, there we go, there's 100% in the house of Shazen. This does not take me too long, I believe it took me about an hour and a half or two, which is pretty nice. So the next thing that I'm going to need to do is going to, to get myself tier 5 Shazen armor. And there's all the armor that I need, so I'm going to try out the Lizard Shamans with my Hasta. I believe that's going to be their weakness, but I don't really think that I'm going to stick to killing them with melee. So I'm just going to test out the kills per hour. And it's most likely I'm going to continue killing them in range. So I'll see you guys once I do a bunch of kills. Quick little update guys. I'm currently at about 2.2k Lizardman Shaman kills. Still no Dragon Warhammer draw. But that's completely right. Because I haven't really killed enough of them to be able to complain. So let's hope I do manage to give myself the Dragon Warhammer drop in about 5k kills. Let's hope I don't have to go all the way up to 10k kills or more. But it's definitely going to be still worth it to get it. But I, because I still need to get it for Corp anyways. Now the thing is, I've been trying out the rune crossbow to kill them, and the kills are pretty good for our, but I believe I can do way much more with the crystal bow. After talking to a few people, it's definitely going to be something that I'm going to be getting right now. Now after calculating, it seems that I need to spend about 2.7 mil to be able to start buying the crystal balls for about 180k, which is a decent amount of money, but it's definitely going to be worth it because it's going to save me a ton of time, especially if I have to end up killing about 10k lizard mechamans to be able to get the dragon warhammer. Now, after calculating this, it seems that I'm going to get about 145 kills per crystal bow, which is about, let's see, about 1.2k per each kill, which does seem quite a lot. But then again, I make about 250k to 300k per hour right now with the rune crossbow. And imagine if I use a crystal bow, so I'm definitely going to be still profiting a lot. It doesn't matter if I don't profit as much. The most important thing for me right now is going to be to get the fastest, the, the most amount of kills per hour possible. So that way I can save a ton of time on not having to kill Lizard Shamans for much more longer to be able to get the Dragon Warhammer. So I'm going to go and get myself some crystal bows and we'll start continuing them with a crystal bow. And I'll update you guys in a, about maybe at 5k kills, maybe a little bit earlier. So I'll see you guys soon. I've actually managed to complete a hard clue scroll that I picked up from killing Lizard and Shaman. So I have a pretty good feeling that this could potentially be something good. So let's open this and let's check out what I get. Ooh, let's see. Zamor Plate Legs and say Zamor Crozier. Ah, not the best items, but I do need this for Klushko, but I'm not really sure if I can store this at my house. I don't think I could, but I believe I could store this in one of the uh, hidey holes or something like that. So I'll go check that out. But overall, I guess... An average hard clue score rewards. Another quick update guys, currently right now I'm about 3.2 thousand Lizardman Shamans killed, so I'm going to be taking a break from these and I'm going to start working on completing some achievement diaries. The first achievement diary that I'm going to start working on is going to be the Ardoin Hard Diaries. Just looking at the tasks that I have to complete, they shouldn't be too difficult to do. One of the only harder tasks that I need to do is going to be to recharge some jewelry in the Totem and the Legend Skill. Now for that I'm going to need to give myself, I believe, a skills necklace or a common bracelet or something like that. So for that, I'm going to need to head to Pura Pura. 
Other than that, the other tasks are going to be very easy to complete, so let's begin working on the diary. This is going to be the last task that I'm going to need to do, so all we need to do is going to be to put inside the cage, and I should be able to complete all the hard tasks in the Ardoin Achievement Diary, so let's finish this up. There we go, guys. All the hard tasks have been completed, so let's go claim the XP Lamp, as well as the Ardoin Cloak 3. Here we are, so let's claim all the rewards that I can get. Alright guys, so let's see, let's use the rewards, Herbler should be the best one to use it on. Also, now that I got myself the Ardoin Cloak 3, with that I have a 10% increased chance to be able to pickpocket, which is very nice. As soon as I resume pickpocketing on the Ardoin Knights, this is definitely going to be very helpful. So let's begin on looking for another achievement diary to complete. The next achievement diary that I'm going to be working on is going to be the Lumbridge and Drainer Diaries. Now I should be able to complete the Hard and Elite. The only hard part is going to be to complete one of these tasks, which is going to be cast bones to peaches. I believe this takes like anywhere around from 5 to 7 hours or something like that, so that's going to be the hardest part. Aside from that, you guys can see this should be very easy to do. I have all the stats to be able to do the hard very easily. And I believe I can also complete the elites as well. Let's see, so I can definitely do this. Okay, I can do that. I can do this. I can easily boost for this. And I can also boost for this as well. I think I have like 73 room crafting or something like that, or 72, somewhere around there. So I can definitely boost for a few of these. This can be a very easy boost. After a bit of grinding, I finally managed to save up all the points that I need to do to be able to unlock Bones to Peaches. So let's buy that real quick. And there we go, guys. Bones to Peaches has been unlocked. So this is one of the harder tasks that I needed to complete. So for the remaining task, all I have to do is going to be to harvest this Belladonna plant. So let's do that real quick. There we go, guys. All the hard tasks in the Lumbridge and Drainer Achievement Diaries have been completed. Now that I finished that up, the only remaining task that I have left is going to be to craft 140 water runes to be able to complete the elite tasks as well. So let's go finish that up and we'll complete all the tasks in the Lumbridge and Trainer Diaries. The last thing I need to do is going to be to craft these water runes and this is going to be the last task. Alright, there we go guys, the last task has been completed, let's go claim all the rewards. Sweet, I've just finished up doing all the achievement diaries, so let's claim the rewards real quick. Alright, so I'm about 2k away from 77 Herbal, and that's for, I believe it was Stamina Potion or something like that, so that's pretty nice. When As soon as I unlock those, I can do Sir Doman. And there you have it guys, Explore Ring 4 has been unlocked, which means that I've now completed two of the achievement diaries, which is going to be the Lumbridge and Drainer, as well as the Mertenia, so there's still a ton more to complete, but I'll definitely get to them as soon as I can. That is going to be it for episode number 34, I apologize that there wasn't too much content in this episode, a lot of time went into killing Blizzard and Shamans, and I was really hoping that I can get the Dragon Warhammer drop in this episode, but sadly I did not, currently I'm over 4000 kills, so hopefully I'll be able to get it soon so I can continue with PVMing. Aside from that guys, I would like to thank every single one of you guys that stopped by and watched this episode. I'm going to do my best to be able to get myself the Dragon Warhammer in the next episode so that way I can continue with PVMing. Huge thanks again for watching guys and I'll be seeing you guys hopefully soon in episode number 35.